Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, it's finally time for me to make a video on the clan boss team that I'm using on the free to play account. I have been teasing slash talking about this team for quite a while and you know what? It's quite an obscene team. It does some crazy damage. It's really amazing, but this team is something that we have not been testing with so much. This team was initially created, if I'm not mistaken, was created by Mr. Henry White or something like that. And it's posted on Deadwood Jedi's website as the Myth Hair Comp. And the principle of the team is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's using the following champions. It's using Razzlevarg to get us with us to give us the increased speed, so we go at the two to one ratio for most people. But we have three people, uh, sorry, two people going on a three to one ratio. That's Demetha and Razzlevarg. Then we're using Demetha to keep us, you know, unkillable for the fifty turns with this block damage that goes on for one turn. Then we're using Seeker that gives us the Termiter boost. This is something that helps us again keep moving you know faster and giving us the third meter so that most people go to do on a three to one then we have under priest brogni that keeps us affinity friendly and then the last slot is another dps reason why i'm saying another dps is because reservoir does some insane damage guys you're gonna see the damage the reservoir does is just crazy so the way that i've been playing with this one is i've been trying to see if i can get some other stuff i was trying to see if i could replace brogni maybe bring gnut in the team but what i've noticed is the fact that if you do not have under priest brogni this can fail because of seekers passive and the way it falls and this passive can give us increased defense so basically on the second day we if we take a crit or specifically if seeker is hit by a critical hit he procs this passive he puts increased defense on everybody in the team and then when they start getting their turns before the stun comes some of the people lose the increased defense but some do not and the clan boss does not like to hit people have increased defense so the stun usually goes to seeker reservoir or demeta exactly the three ones that you do not want the stun to go to if that wasn't the case and the stun would always go to either Brogni or Anax and the Brogni could be another DPS, then it would work. So what I'm trying to say with all this is the fact that you need Under Priest Brogni to be in the team or you either need somebody else that does block debuffs for two turns on a three turn cooldown. There might be some other ways you could play around with somebody that don't, does it only for one turn, but it's a bit too tricky because... It, on affinities you know what it, it can change so you could maybe just block the stun let's say we go to spirit affinity wait not wrong spot let's see we go to spirit over here you see it is a little bit different it is a little bit funky and uh that's because you have to change if i'm not mistaken brogni's you have to do like this you have to delay his a3 two two times okay so that he blocks the decrease speed over here and then he goes and blocks the stun. So the only thing that was here, the issue was, you know what? Let me just show you the easiest way. If you go on there, would you like... One second, let me just get to the tune. Okay, so I got to the actual tune itself. I just went over here, like I said, to the meth hair that Deadwood has posted on his site. I'm going to put the link of this one of the meth hair to that takes you to the jedi's website to explain all the speeds and everything in the description and in the pen comment and the same thing i'm going to put my speed tune that i'm using myself in uh, over there as well so what you have to do basically for spirit affinity is you have to do these delays for demeta so basically you have to do two a1s with her then she does the a2 then the a3 and everything falls into sync on spirit affinity to make sure it works on every other affinity it's a full auto and since we're talking about that let's have a look at the presets so first things first reservoir just prioritizes a3 with the speed that i have myself and with the testing that i've done so far you can turn off his a2 you can have counter attack on him you, he can do whatever okay just no relentless you do not want extra turns because this team relies on the increased speed uh, being on your champions at the right times if you get relentless and you lose that it goes out of sync so with the speed that i have mine at 195 even though on the website it shows like 190 I have I have uh, revenge accessories on him. He counterattacks sometimes, and it still works. So that's that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to do it like this. So what you need just a three, and that's it. Then Brogni, you want to open with either with a two or day one. Then first priority day three, second priority day two. Anax or the DPS can do whatever you want. You know their skills decrease defense, poisons, anything you want. 
then with Seeker, open with the A1, then, pr uh, then priority the A2, which is the third meter boost, and then Demetha, just straight up priority, first priority the A3, second priority the A2. That's all you need for non-spirit. Remember, for spirit, you want to do uh, two A1s, then the A2, then A3. So keep in mind, if you're going to do it like that, if you're going to keep the preset like this on spirit, make sure you do A1, A1, A2 with Demeter, and then you can put it on full auto, even if you have the presets like this. So I'm going to play the run. I'm just going to show you how it starts, how it goes full auto, and then we're going to come back towards the end, see the damage that we did, and we're going to discuss the build. So see you in a bit. Okay, and we're back. So, is this a crazy damage or what? 91.96 million damage on an account that is, let me double check so I don't say the day wrong, I am 190 days in, so like six months and a bit, almost six months and a half in, and I'm doing that crazy damage. The reason why I wanted to show you this is because obviously at this time, I'm not gonna have the craziest gear. So doing that type of damage that you see over here is just, insane and here is the reason why i was saying earlier the reservoir is an actual dps he did almost 32 million damage more than anax and anax brings poisons as well brogdy did 14.2 seeker did uh did 11 and then demetha did 3.3 so even if you did not have under priest brogdy and maybe have so said somebody else like you know even a blind seer that it's nor she's normally useless if you had blind seer in the team that could do kind of the same thing you just have to build her you know build her to do damage do the same preset where she puts the block debuffs at the right time and you're good to go but this is just crazy i'm i'm really really loving this team and i'm really happy that <clears throat> I, I saw it and I, I decided to make it for the free-to-play account. So let's go through the builds a little bit. As you can see, like I said, I have one revenge piece on Razalvar and he's running a 195, 100% crit rate, good attack, good crit damage. You see, he only has 188 accuracy. Most of the people in this team are not going to have the 240, 250 accuracy required because 
well, Razzlevar brings us the increased speed, increased accuracy, and then Demetha goes to extend that, and we're basically covered with the increased accuracy for the whole of the fight, so we can go on lower accuracy. If you're gonna use some people in this team that you use in different areas where Razzlevar is not in the team, then obviously you're gonna give them more accuracy, 250, 300, whatever you need. But for this team, this is all that you need. And then Master is, I went down to War Master for him because you know what, he, I use him in other areas and he does A2 and A3 more often, which are AOEs instead of doing lots of A1s. So for that specific reason, I prefer the A1, the War Master, because has a higher chance to do damage. Whereas if I was doing A1s more often and I was only using, or if I was only using him for Clan Boss, where he does A3 and then only A1s, then I would go Giant Slayer because he might do more damage. And then I'll support Chi. Honestly, with this team, I don't even think he needs the Steadfast because we're always covered the block debuffs this is what i just had before on him for the sake of other test other content you know then we have seeker seeker again war master and then down the defense tree i could even go maybe down the support tree if i wanted accuracy on him if i was gonna use him for uh hydra as a provoker but for now this is what i'm sticking with obviously he's uh he's booked and he's running some uh, one crawl and one uh retaliation again I don't have the best gear sets in the game, but if I had the, the good retaliation, I would have retaliation on every single person in this team because with these type of block damage comps, you don't have too many ways of counterattacking and having retaliation gives you that extra 15% chance to counterattack. If you have two sets, it's 30, and if you have three sets, it's 45. So having this chance to counterattack and do more War Master procs would be huge. Then you also see something tricky. I have a Blood Shield ring on Seeker. The reason for that is specifically because of Brogni, Seeker uh, does not always have the shield on and Brogni's passive reflects damage if people have shield. So that's why I put the Blood Shield accessory on Seeker so that he has the shield all the time and he can uh, the damage can be reflected by Brogni's passive to do some extra damage. Then we have Under Priest Brogni with, again, one piece of, one set of retaliation, that's all I could squeeze in there. One uh, revenge accessories as well. Revenge is the same thing. If you can get this, 5% extra chance to counterattack, try to do it, but, you know, don't break your whole build. Like, if you have a, I don't know, resistance banner that doesn't give you speed or anything else to help out, just for the 5% is not really worth it. However, if you have a ring like this, that's attack is not the best ring to have on my account, but it's let's say it, it would be a revenge one you would use it okay just to give you that extra chance to counter attack brogni is running one 191 speed again 100 crit rate decent attack decent crit damage again 171 accuracy only because with the increased accuracy from Razzlevarg, he's going to be at the right one for his uh, HP burn on the A1. And then Master is, if you use Brogni, you definitely want Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer is the thing that does damage to to the boss from this reflect okay especially if you're facing affinity where the boss hits you several times on the aoe's respectively four times on the first aoe and two times on the second aoe that's every time he hits there's a chance to reflect and do damage so keep that in mind and definitely make sure you get giants here on him then demetha she's just basically she's just in speed trying to get to the stats i i want and one ring that's a revenge ring because that's all that I had. I don't really care about maxing out her, her gear because as you saw, she's not going to do the highest damage. She just needs to hit the speed that I need. 296, close to 100% crit rate. If you can get some crit rate attacking crit damage, go for it. She will do a little bit of damage, but she only attacks once. So because she only attacks once, she's not going to do as much damage as the other people. Then Master is again War Master. Again, I went with Steadfast, but in this team, I don't really... I don't really need it because we're covered for the stun all the time, so we would be good with that. And then the last one is Anax. And Anax is again in one piece of revenge, one speed and one perception, plus one revenge ring. This one I didn't max out because it's bad. It's on honestly, I'm even I even think I should maybe change this and just give him an attack ring because this one gives me absolutely nothing. Like didn't even roll on the attack, so might as well just go for uh for the attack. Maybe I would try to I don't know, rework this for a crit damage one to, to try and get myself some more chances to counterattack. The reason why I try to get uh, retaliation on Anax, and I would suggest to you as well, if you're using Anax as your DPS, try to get as many retaliation pieces on him as possible because 
he doesn't have a 100% chance to land this decreased defense and sometimes he might fall off. So if you have more retaliation, he has higher chances of constantly counterattacking. And this one's on three turn, this one's on three turn. So he basically only does one A1 every, like what, every uh, four or five turns. So it's he does the A1 very rare. So having retaliation on him would help you tons. When it comes to blessings, obviously if you have the legendaries in there, especially like Reservoir, get Brimstone, you want Brimstone for extra damage. For your uh, DPS, get like if you have Anax, get uh, Phantom Touch. And then try and get on Demetha if you have a, an Awakening on her, the Cruelty, because she's the one that's gonna do the least damage. So Cruelty is gonna be the most helpful as this one decreases the boss's uh, defense and it helps for the whole fight. So the one that's that's uh, the least, you know, the one that does the less damage is the one that should have cruelty for you. But yeah, this is going to be for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video on this myth hair comp. Again, massive shout out to Devil Jedi for posting that this tune on his website. And again, massive shout out to Mr. Henry White. I hope, I hope that's the right person that I'm talking about for coming up with this team. It's an amazing team. And you know what? There might be tons of people that can do it if they have the Reservoir Demetha that was guaranteed recently. A Seeker, maybe you got lucky with a Seeker and, you know, just hopefully got Brogni, if not, maybe somebody else <clears throat> that does Brogni boss on a two turn, uh, that goes on for two turns on a three turn cooldown. One thing that I really wish I had the brains to do is find a variation for this tune with Deacon, but hopefully the big brains of, you know, Devil Jedi, Safira, and other people like that that deal with this, hopefully gonna find a tune with Deacon that allow us to play differently, because if I had Deacon, in this team, I could bring in, instead of Anax, I could bring in Gnut, and maybe he, Gnut would do more damage, because he's just crazy. But anyway, this is going to be it for the video today, guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and we're going to see you all in the next one. Peace, love, take care, run. Bye, guys.